Good evening. This is uh, Minister Hill once again. And today I want to talk about women preachers. And this message is especially for the unlearned and the ignorant male. I don't know what some men have against women that proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. I don't know if it's something they experience uh, from a bad relationship or they just hate women preachers or uh, whatever it may be. But I think it's something ignorant and barbarian uh, when it comes to women proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Huh? Amen. To preach means to tell the good news or preach the gospel and to speak glad Hiding. To preach is to give a sermon. A sermon is usually from a pulpit. To preach is to speak the written or the oral word of God. To proclaim the gospel. In other words, thus said the Lord. You can preach to one or you can preach to one million. Because to preach the word is not defined by how many that are being preached to. Or uh, to recite the word of God is not defined by the sex that one may be. God's word was not written for or to the man only. No, it wasn't. What God said unto Adam was for Eve also. Matter of fact, Eve was the first human being to proclaim what God had said. Now, if you get your Bible and turn to Genesis, the third chapter, and the second verse, after the devil is trying to persuade her to eat of the forbidden fruit, then Eve responds to the devil and telling the devil what the Lord has said. So she is preaching. She is proclaiming what God has said unto her and her husband. Hmm? And the woman said unto the serpent. Here is the first woman preacher right here. Genesis 3 and 2. Saying what thus said the Lord. That's what preaching is. It's to say what God has already said. And you just tell others. And you tell me a woman can't do that? We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Here we see that the woman had heard from the Lord also. Because she's repeating what God has said. And that's what preaching is. You're repeating what God has already said. When God gave Adam his word, the woman that came forth from his side was still at his side. Yes, she was. Getting the instruction from God concerning the fruit trees to eat from. Verse 3. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. This is E preaching now. God has said. See, she heard what, what, what God had said also because she's telling the devil, God has said. Anytime you tell, tell another what God has said, you are preaching, proclaiming the word of God. <clears throat> God's word is to no respecter of person. Eve is now, in this verse, preaching. God has said, just like your pastor preached on Sunday morning, God has said, you are cursed if you don't bring me all the tithes in the storehouse. God has said. Mm -hmm. This woman Eve, not her husband, but the woman is spreading the word. Yes, she was. Ye shall not eat of it, uh, neither touch it, lest you die. Mm -hmm. She was talking to the devil. 
telling him what the Lord had said. This was the first message to the devil from God. And it was by the woman. And I would give that message that message a theme. God said it. Hmm? Verse 4. And the devil responded to Eve. And this is what he had to say in verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. How many know that the devil is a liar? Yes, he is. Eve was like unto one that received the word by the wayside, because the word was not rooted in her. Satan come immediately and take away the word that was sown in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And Adam likewise, who received the word on stony ground, having no root, he also was offended. When persecution came, Adam felt like that he was wrongly done and said, The woman whom thou gavest to me or to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. Now listen to this. If Eve had fell dead, if she had died immediately, right after she ate, of their fruit, Adam would not have eaten from the tree if she had fell dead right after and he saw her, he would not have have eaten of their tree because other people in our times are doing evil things and yet they live. Hmm? So you try doing the same thing. You walk away from your family because others are doing that. Huh? You try drugs because others are trying drugs. And they seem to be whole and nothing is happening to them. You know, they're not falling dead. So therefore, mark your see, mark your do. The Bible says, because sentence of an evil work is not executed speedily. See, nothing is happening. Uh, you are not punished right away. Because sentence of an evil work is not executed speedily, the hearts of the sons of men are fully set in them to do evil. Hmm? Because you are not being punished right away. So your heart is fully set to continue to do evil. And you see other people doing it. Adam saw that his wife ate of the, uh, of the tree and she didn't die. God said that you would surely die. Well, when they died, they died spiritually right after. Yeah, they died. They were disconnected from God immediately. So, but Adam was in the natural when he saw his wife eat and he ate and he said this is good and it was good and their eyes was open huh? and they saw that they were naked but they were deceived by the devil hmm? so let me get back to the topic talking about women preachers one cannot be a witness about God unless they preach the word to, the, to another preaching is not yelling out the word as loud as you can being emotional preaching is not carrying a tune with a speech and an organ in the background that's not preaching that's a form of preaching but you can just talk to another face to face one on one and proclaim the word of God and women have that same ability to do that as men. Hmm? Preaching is for all of us to go out to the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that they may fill the house of God. Amen. We're going to part two about women preachers. Stay tuned.